Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the week four recap. In a week that my regular redraft leagues got obliterated, I uh, fared fairly well in DFS uh, despite some of the injuries. Luckily, nobody in my DFS league got injured, so we'll take a look at how well you all did this week and see what we did. So first place for the week, Matthew Wells. With a commanding 195.22 points and a massive appearance on Monday Night Football by Debo Samuel to help you secure the victory. I thought Taylor was running away with this uh, going into Monday Night at 182 points, but uh, Debo Samuel had a pretty outstanding game and was able to help you climb to victory. But not just him, you also had a strong Josh Allen. Rashad White, uh, T. Higgins had a great game. Uh, I mean, look at T.J. Hawkinson. I mean, my goodness. He got 42.9 points with two receiving catches, 179 receiving yards. Sorry, two receiving touchdowns, eight catches, and then, of course, a two-point conversion and over 100 yards receiving bonus. Jamal Williams also for Detroit. Even in a losing victory, still provided a lot of great fantasy uh, value with two rushing touchdowns, 108 rushing yards, and a catch, and a 100-plus rushing yard bonus, along with the Titans' defense. So, overall, very well done, Matthew. And Taylor in second place, also with a very strong lineup with Josh Allen. Uh, He had Jamal Williams and Austin Eckler along with TJ Hawkinson as well. So, I mean, with those um, in your lineup, I mean, they really helped out big time. So very solid overall. And in third place, um, from the other Death Valley, uh, Sarah with uh, Jamal Williams uh, with a great showing. uh, And Joe Burrow, uh, he had an okay, an average game. He definitely could have done better. Um, and then TJ Hawkinson, uh, Firemouth actually decided to show up for you. So good job there. I had him, I think last week or the week before, and he got me like one catch or something. So I'm glad he did something, uh, for you. And then, uh, the Giants defense actually, uh, showed up and, uh, beat Chicago. So well done, uh, on your victory. And then to round out the top five for the week. Miles with 155 points. I uh, got Saquon Barkley in the action with Jamal Williams, Mike Evans. Some very solid picks with Sutton, Olave, Joku, Herbert, all double digits here. Uh, the only non-double digit was your quarterback, Baker Mayfield. <laughs> and if you didn't pick him, you probably could have come in third place. But uh, anyway, um Very solid picks overall, either way. And uh, Lee with Josh Allen, Jamal Williams, Damian Pierce, and Mike Evans. So, well done there. So, let's take a look at the standings right now. Um, I just updated this tonight, and we have a major shakeup at the top of the leaderboard. So, not only with a strong performance in week four, also going up. Up eight spots from ninth place all the way to first place, Matthew Wells. And uh, boy, you have a strong three week average. So, your last three weeks are definitely your best three weeks. Um, and you're doing a great job. I mean, actually, your first week was pretty strong too. And I think that's exactly why you are at the top of the leaderboard. Chris, you are always steady. Here at second place, uh, that didn't change at all. You're still right off first place. uh, Nothing to sweat about there. And Taylor with the 16 spot jump with your massive uh, performance, 182 points. That's all it takes, folks. One week and you're in the action. Back into third place. Uh, Well done, Taylor. And... uh, Man, what what an amazing uh, performance. We also got Grant and Will up here in the top five. Miles and Jeremy just outside the top five. And uh, let's see here. We got Grant. Uh, so first of all, we got Matt Wells. We got Grant. We got Miles. 
Andrew Smoker and Nick Bugas with our top uh, five in terms of the trailing three week average. So those are the Fellas who are trending up in the right direction, but I mean, everyone is right there. I mean, we are all, I mean, most of us are within 200 points off of, fir off of first place. And again, you can catch that up very quickly, as you could see uh, with the performance by Taylor. I mean, he jumped 16 spots in one week. So uh, well done. And uh, even Sarah, with her performance, jumped 10 spots. So uh, a lot of football left, a lot of money to be earned. So thank you all for joining again this week and look forward to talking with you all next week.